my lovelies. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day. Today, my name is Rachel, and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is for all signs, so please take the energy that resonates. If it doesn't resonate, then please leave it where it is. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, and that notification bell, and it will notify you every single time I upload a video. It will also really help my channel grow, which is something I'm trying really hard to do because I'd like to reach as many people as possible and hopefully help them um, have a little bit of clarity in their time of need, just like Caro helped me in my time of need. So let's get a message from the angel to get this reading started and then we'll jump straight into tarot. So angel spirit guys, what's the message we need to know today, please? What's the message we need to know today? Show me the card I need to see. That's too many cards, thank you. Just give me one card, please. And show me the one card I need to see, please. What's the message for us? Yeah, just okay, so the message we got today was to be bold and make the first move. So this could be um, about anything. Um, it could be that you have been um, wanting to take your relationship further and your other, your other person is not kind of moving. So maybe you need to take that first move. It could be that you have got your eye on someone and they're telling you just to go for it. Just go and ask them out. If you don't want to ask them out, just talk to them. Do a little bit of flirting and see kind of what reaction you get back. If you get a positive reaction, then make your move. And if you don't get a reaction, then just, you know, that you're friends. This could also mean something to do with work. If you want to go for a promotion, maybe you want to go and talk to your boss about something. Um, Eight of Swords. And you're just kind of, you're just waiting for an opportunity to come up. I feel that the universe is asking you to actually just go and talk to your boss and make the first move. Go and ask your boss or whoever you need to ask to see if they, you can increase your position in the company. But be bold, just go and make that first move in whatever resonates with you. Wow, okay, so we've got the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. So the Eight of Swords is, um, I feel that you are holding yourself back. As you can see, she's got her hands tied here, she's got her blindfold on. Um, she, That's how she sees herself, like she's trapped, that she can't move forward with anything. Uh, you are restricting yourself by not asking that person out, by not asking your other person to take your relationship further, by not asking your boss to see if there's any more positions. You feel that you are not good enough for it. So therefore you're restricting yourself and you're holding yourself back. This is how you see you. But if you look down here, this is who you really are. This is how everybody else sees you and it's only you that sees you like this. This person is going to be bold and strong and be able to push forward and move forward with what she wants. But because you're seeing yourself as this person, that's why you're not. You need to, untake, you need to untie yourself and take your blindfold off and realise that you are worthy. You are so worthy of everything that you want in your life. You just need to go and take that leap of faith. And I feel that you are not because you've got the seven of wands here because you're protecting yourself. You're scared of rejection. You're scared of being hurt. You're scared of um, people, I want to say like picking on you, like being mean to you. And I feel that's why you're not taking this leap of faith because you are defending um, and protecting yourself. Okay, so the Seven of Wands, I feel like before in your past, the Seven of Wands um, is saying that maybe you have been bold before and you had to defend yourself and it wasn't very nice and it wasn't very pretty. So therefore, this is why you don't take no more bold moves. Just remember, if you're rejected, that's just because you're being redirected by the universe. That's all that means. If you are... Um, if. If someone says no, that's okay. But the fact that you asked, all it's going to do is hurt your ego a little bit. OK, 
okay it's not going to make anything else go wrong it's just going to hurt your ego a little bit just say oh at least i gave it a chance at least i didn't ever i don't ever have to sit here going what if what if but if you don't go and make any moves towards your future you will always stay where you are and if you're not happy where you are then you need to make the first move and you need to be bold because when you are bold then things will start moving and then move fast the, the, it feels like the eight of wands is just waiting for you to take that first move they're just waiting for you to go, okay, let's go. Okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to count down and do the Mal Robbins trick and go five, four, three, two, one, and just say anything or go and walk into your boss's office or go up to that person and ask if they want to go out for a coffee or a drink or whatever it may be. Just, you know, if you keep holding yourself back, you're never going to move forward. So, But when you actually take that step, the Eight of Wands is saying that things will start moving in the direction you want them to go and they will move really, really quickly. But you are the one that is holding yourself back from that happening. When you are able to take that step, when you make that first move, when you get past all your fears and things move, you are going to find your happy ever after. Everything that you have been trying to work towards is going to manifest into your life. You're going to feel happy. You're going to feel fulfilled. Um, it's going to be um, a very joyous um, occasion for you. Um, so you're going to have your happy ever after be, and it'll be, it'll be quick because you've got the eight of wands. So the eight of wands is going to move fast and therefore you'll get your happy ever after really quickly as well. But you're not going to get that if you keep restricting yourself. Okay. Let's see what else. Okay. Angel spirit bed. Oh, okay. Ace of wands. I've got an offering coming in. The Queen of Wands. So there's a lot of earth energy. Oh, fire energy here, sorry. One more card, please. Angel Spirit, guys. Oh, that's too many cards. Thank you. Just give me one card, please. So a lot of fire energy. So that could be Leo, Sagittarius or um, Aries. Uh, you've got a little bit of sword energy. So Libra, Gemini and Aquarius. And you've got a little bit of cups, um, which is Scorpio, Cancer and Pisces. So you could be one of those signs. You could be dealing with someone, one of those signs, or either of you could have uh, that in your birth chart as well. So I am um, Libra Sun and Cancer Moon and Rising. So I've got water energy and air energy. Um, in my sign. So you've got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands is about someone coming in to offer you something. I feel when you take this bold move and you and you and the first move that you're going to take, um, things will move fast because someone will come in with an offering. So if you go to your boss and they say no, then someone might know that you've done that and want to better yourself so they might come with an offering for a different uh, an opportunity or your boss might say no to the opportunity that you are looking for but might be able to give you another one there might be someone new coming into your life that you might be taking that first move and this person's like yes they want to go out on a on a date with you or whatever it may be and they'll be offering you their heart and, and getting to know them so you're going to be starting something new because someone's going to come in and offer you something new then you've got your Queen of Wands as well. And the Queen of Wands is all about courage. And I think that's what you need to um, tap into in yourself. Have courage and confidence uh, to be able to take this first move. You want to have a better life. Um, you want to, and I feel that you are finally at that point where you are just like, I'm sick and tired of where my life is and things need to change. And you're starting to become more and more determined to move forward towards a better life for yourself. Um, so to be able to do that, that is actually going to give you the courage and the confidence that you are going to need to be able to take this first move to make those steps towards this better life that you want. And when you do, it's going to move fast and you're going to get your happy ever after. <clears throat> you are scared because you have been betrayed before. Uh, someone has um, maybe took a position over you, so you're scared to put yourself out there again. Uh, maybe someone hurt you in the past in a relationship and they kind of made you feel that everything was going to be 
amazing and loving and perfect and then they took your heart and they just pissed off with it and then they came back and forth because they're they're trying to get these other two swords and this is what you're defending you're not taking my goddamn swords no i've only got two left so you leave them alone they're mine um but that's why i feel that you are scared to put yourself out there because you have been hurt and betrayed by somebody before so you're scared to put yourself out there again just remember not everybody is the same and only because one person betrayed you doesn't mean that every single person's going to betray you and sometimes you just need to have faith that even if they do betray you, you know how strong you are to be able to move forward. Because you've also got the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is all about having compassion. And I feel that because you've been betrayed before, you had to do a lot of work on yourself. And that made you more emotionally balanced. Um, so you know... Um, when to be compassionate, when to be loving, when to be um, nurturing towards someone or something, but also you know when to defend yourself and when to put those walls up and when to not kind of let your guard down. You know now who you are to be able to do that. So trust yourself and use your intuition to go and uh, start a whole new life for yourself. Sometimes you might need to lead your head over your heart, but you already know that. You already know when you should be compassionate and you already know when you should put the walls up because something doesn't feel quite right for you. Okay, so before we finish off this reading, we're going to go and do a uh, card from the Angel Answer uh, so Oracle card deck. So feel free to pause me if you want to. But we're going to ask angels for an answer to a question, any question you want. And we'll see what they have to say. So Angel Spirit guys. Please give us the answer to our question that we need today, please. What's the answer to the question we need to know today, please? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Oh, no. Oh, that one there. Okay, so it's not the right time. And we've got wait. Okay. So maybe it's not the right time to do something at the moment, or maybe you just need to wait just a little bit longer for your right opportunity. But making sure that you know when that opportunity is going to come up. Okay, is keeping your eyes open for that opportunity. That's all I've got for you today, my lovelies. Thank you for spending this time with me. Anything resonated with you, then please drop it in the comment box below. I would love to know. I reply to all my comments because I love to connect with you all. Um, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe and that notification bell and it will notify you every single time I upload a video. I do them daily, weekly, monthly and the zodiac signs every single weekend. Again, it will really help me grow my channel and help more people gain a little bit of clarity in their time of need. Um, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.